Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. Tuesdays I'm going to be talking about LGBTQIA plus topics or issues of some sort. And today I want to talk about two things related to one news story. The first thing I want to talk about is how we measure whether a country is LGBTQIA plus friendly or not. Usually the barometer we use for that is same-sex marriage, but last week Germany, a country usually considered a really LGBTQIA plus friendly country legalized same-sex marriage in 2017, well after a lot of countries we consider much less LGBTQIA plus friendly had already done so. So is our perception of Germany wrong or is our barometer wrong? I'd actually argue both, um, but mostly the barometer. Our, our perception of Germany is lacking a lot of nuance in the UK and US media, which I tend to see a lot. Um, the perception of Germany is that it's like the super far left liberal utopia, which is not true. No, Germany's government is like not that at all. Um, but I don't want to go off on a tangent about that. I want to go on our barometer because there's a lot of other things that we could consider a way to measure this. Um, we could consider something like can transgender people ha have their rights, re their gender recognized. In Germany, that's been legal since 1980. Um, although forced sterilization only ended at the beginning of 2011, that's still much earlier than a lot of countries which still have forced sterilization of transgender people. Or don't have any recognition of um, transgender people's gender at all. That's one measure. Or you could measure by, for example, public opinion. Public opinion polls um, taken from many countries typically tend to show Germany as one of the much more accepting countries in the world for LGBTQIA plus people. Generally, people support same-sex marriage, accept homosexuality, aren't particularly bothered. Um, although those, again, those polls are actually only based on gay, like LG. We're not getting to the rest of the acronym. And so I think part of the problem with our barometers is that they focus on a very narrow subset of the community, which is primarily cis, gay, white people, middle class. Um, and I think we need to find a better barometer that actually measures the diversity of our community and whether we're all getting a good deal. The other thing I want to talk about is there has been an article shared by a lot of my friends recently after this vote um, pointing out that every single Muslim in um, the German government voted for same-sex marriage and it's being shared to remind people that their stereotypes of Muslims are completely wrong and I wish we didn't have to share it to prove it because my identity and existence is so often weaponized against my Muslim um, neighbors and friends and it needs to stop, right? Like people will be like, oh, we shouldn't let Muslims in because they'll, you know, make things hard for LGBTQIA plus people, which is said by the same people who made my life hard as a queer 13 year old. So stop, stop weaponizing my pain against my, my neighbors and friends, okay? No more. Anyway, stay awesome, y'all. Bye.